When you see me like in public, I'm a very, very like quiet, reserved person. But yeah, your girl talks a lot. So we will all. So you want to know where Shay Say came from. Um, and it's Shay Say, but it's all one word. So Shay Say is a derivative or a play off of my name, which is Marche. Um, so about a year ago, um, I work at a museum here in the area that I live in. I'm not sure if I want to incorporate the name of that museum just because it is pretty prominent. Um, if you know me, you know which museum it was. But it was a Sunday um, afternoon and I was sitting at the desk with three of my male co-workers. And you know, sitting with those three was always fun. Like we always talked about multiple things or just you know especially with guys they like to joke so we were joking but we will talk about like different topics you know nothing too controversial but just like fun stuff to pass the shift by and also if you know me like personally and like if you know me know me if i'm comfortable around you i'm a talker um i am very opinionated i'm not like one of those outrageously obnoxious opinionated types of people but i do always have like my own personal stance with different things and i'm not scared to share my opinion you know so i was always just rambling like because i talk a lot um i talk a lot like if I, you don't really know me and you see me like in public i'm a very very like quiet reserved person but yeah your girl talks a lot so we will always just be at the desk talking and i can't recall what it was we were talking about that day like conversation was great but my one co-worker he was like Marche, you should have your own like radio show or something called like Marche Say. And I was like, you know what? That actually sounds fun. And my other uh, friend slash coworker, he was like, you know, it was like, we all was just like, that makes sense. Like that makes perfect sense. Um, and you know, we were just like kind of brainstorming and my one, co-worker you know he does music he's a rapper um you know and he was like you know just playing around like you know like yeah i can do like the jingle blah 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 blah. then my other co-worker he's a filmmaker producer i'll actually drop their name so the co-worker that's the like rap he's a rapper not that's but he is a rapper and he's a great one uh his name is wes will and you can follow him on instagram um i'll drop his name right somewhere in there and then my other co-worker that's the filmmaker producer his name is darren um his instagram is like scruffy i'm gonna just link their instagram names in this video you know shout out to the both of y'all um so yeah that's like we were just really sitting there talking about it because like that was one of the conversations we always had um if i worked on the shift with both of them was like we gotta like we gotta get out of here especially the one co-worker and i is like we gotta get out of here like this right here this is not it like at all and i just say that environment in a sense solidified like yeah this is this is not the move this is not it at all so we were just like you know we just spent the shift talking about that. And I had actually told them there's a media school here where I live at. And um, I told them like, you know, it's so funny you said that because I signed up to do a tour at this media school, but I just, I didn't go. Um, and that's another video I'll just talk about in the past. And I'm still working through, like I'm still a working progress you know or process um i would psych myself out or just let my fear overcome and talk me out of doing things and they were like no like you should 
go back and tour, you know, because this school or the experience, I should say, can help you gain the tools and insight that you need, or it can just possibly have you put a foot in the door into the industry. So I was like, you know, like, yeah, I'll think about it. Like, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Um, so that was a Sunday night. And I'm gonna say like the week went by, it was a Wednesday morning. Um, and like the next few days, I was like, you know how you just play around with the idea of things. So I'm just like, you know, maybe, like, yeah, maybe I can do this or maybe I should do that, blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't really like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Like, I wanted to, but I was letting that fear that I had kind of stop me. So come Wednesday morning, the um, guy from admissions had called. Now, typically, I don't really answer phone calls if I don't know you or if I don't recognize the number. And then I definitely never really answer phone calls when I'm getting ready for work because I just, I'm already doing so much or trying to prepare my brain to go into work, well, at least back then. Um, but I just answered the phone and he kinda, he's a good, you know, admissions person, good salesperson. Um, kind of was like, hey, yeah, Marche, I saw you're supposed to come like tour a few weeks ago. Like, what's going on? Like, what are you doing? Like, you know, like the whole spiel. So I was just like telling him, um, I probably told him some BS as why I didn't do it. But when I say like, sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, when I say he was so good at his job that he got me to agree to come in the next day and speak with him so i'm like okay i'm um i'm gonna do this so i go to work that day and i told darren the filmmaker um and you know he was like like yeah you should really just go like do it you know so i went the next day toward the school not it's not a really big school it's literally a square um toward the school and everything and they have you do like this little test um, just to see if you can read um, like a script. Cause I was going for broadcasting. Um, like when I started for my four year degree or my bachelor's degree, communications, journalism, you know, I want to be a journalist, which I still aspire to do, but just in my own way. Um, I'm still keeping my studies and communication side note. But um, so I went in, I did the test and I read this script. Um, to me, it comes naturally, quite honestly. Like I've always wanted to be a broadcaster, um, more so entertainment, not like really local news, but you know, like entertainment, like when 106 and Park was out, I wanted to be, they called them VJs. So not a DJ, but a video jockey or like hosting. So think like Lala, Anthony, like all of that, or Roxy, you know, free from 106. Like that was my first person I really saw. Um, and then I wanted to go from there and have my own talk show. Um, as a girl, like I watched Oprah, but Oprah wasn't really in my age bracket. So I more so latched on to Tyra Banks. And then from there, I latched on to Wendy Williams, you know. But anyway, so yeah, I toured to school and I literally started the next day. And the day that I started was the third day of class for that week. So I missed the first two days, but they threw me in there. Um, and then from that point forward, that's when I started Shase. Um, And the first birthing of that was we had a blogging um like class or like blocks so we had our blocks for like maybe four weeks or so and that's when i started shay say and i used wordpress as my hosting site or like where to have my website and that's how i started my blog like that's kind of another story too um i've always know that I could write I just ran from it because I was a very lazy kid and my mother was a teacher so every time I had a paper due I would not tell her until the night before because she would literally I would give her my final copy and she would mark it with red ink so like I said I was lazy so I always knew I could write but it was just something I kind of ran from and then I went to a lot of creative arts 
camps and programs as a kid too. Um, and I'm more so, cause I, I love singing, that's my first passion, but I, I also draw, I'm a very creative person, I'll say. So I did like singing, drawing, and theater. And then we had like, you know, journaling or creative writing. And it wasn't my favorite, but I just always know like I could write, but that's how my blog started uh, was at the media school. And my teacher, um, I'll show him on too, John Dusenberry. Um, he's very supportive. He still supports what I put out to this day um, amongst other people. And I really do appreciate it, but he really believed in what I wrote and he was very encouraging. And you know, he gave me tips and he also shared with me some other tips once I left the program on how to move forward with being a full-time blogger. So that's how Shay Say really like started and that's the background to it. Um, I'll probably do more videos to come going like more in depth, but I just wanted everyone to know what Shay Say was and how Shay Say came about. And then also, um, I've officially been a business, let's see, July, August, September, four months, July 1st is when I actually like filed and made Shay Say a business. And then I did my website revamp. So um, you can follow me on all of my social medias at Shay Say, and I will link them um, here on the screen and in the description boxes. And then you can also visit my website at shaysay.com. That's where I post all of my exclusive content and all of my blogs. Thank you all.